Pharisee and the other tax collector, the Pharisee, standing by himself, was praying thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, thieves, rogues, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice quite a week. I give a tenth of all my income. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even look up to heaven, but was beating his breast and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went to his home justified rather than the other. For all who exalt themselves will be humble, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please be seated. Please join me in a moment of prayer. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight. The Lord, our rock, and our blessed Redeemer. Amen. I've got to tell you, I spent most of last week and all of this week wondering what in the world I was going to preach about today. It's one of those ones where you really kind of wish they would have put a different uh, <laughs> scripture passage into the lectionary, one that you could grab a hold of and preach. When that happens, though, I know there's something that I need to pay attention to, especially. Now, the story consists of a tax collector and a Pharisee. Now, the Pharisees got a really bad rap in the New Testament. Some people think that Jesus used to be a Pharisee uh, because, well, you're often the, most, the nastiest to people you've fallen out from, to a group you've been with for a long time and then are departed from. But Pharisees were simply one of the many factions in Jerusalem. They had a way of distinctive ways of fasting, uh, almsgiving, prayer, and tithing. The Pharisee in this story had a very improper way of paying attention to God. His, uh, his prayer, rather than calling attention to God, was calling attention to himself. Now, the other man is a tax collector. Uh, there are three kinds of tax collectors. Those who bought the right from the government to collect taxes. Uh, supervisory agents like Zacchaeus, who collected tolls at transportation and trading centers. The first and the third type were considered to be hand in hand with the Romans. Now, the tax agent is humble in contrast with the Pharisee. He's standing with his arms crossed, with his head down, and he's beating his breast. Now, standing like this is a normal attitude of prayer. But beating one's breast was not something a man would do unless he was in very great distress. What he's praying essentially means, God, give me what you owe me. Fulfill your personal obligation to me, I admit, I am a sinner. It's significant, I think, that this text arrives here the week before your candidate does. You're about to start a very long relationship with a pastor, one that I trust will uh, go on for years. Think about how you'd want to be treated. Would you want to be treated like God treated the Pharisee or like God treated the tax collector? Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. But think about your question before you ask it. Ask yourself how your question will affect the relationship of everyone in the congregation with the pastor before you ask it. Be humble in your questions. I will declare some questions out of order if I feel that's needed, but please don't make me do that. Be humble. And to God alone be glory. Amen. <laughs> 